Hey everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing, crafting, and home decor videos here on my YouTube channel. And in a recent video, I went over sweater felting and my first experience at it and what all I learned with it. And today I'm going to show you a tutorial for a felted sweater throw blanket that I made using the sweaters from my felting experience. And I was planning on using a serger on it and making some cool exposed serge seams for a kind of a decorative element. But I was talking to an old friend of mine about rag quilts. And rag quilts are quilts with an exposed seam allowance that has been snipped about every half inch for um, kind of a rough exposed seam decorative element. And I decided that that is what I wanted to do with this project. So I switched from serging to the rag quilt style, but it is still a felted sweater throw. I chose five of the felted sweaters and cut along the side, shoulder, and sleeve seams to separate all the sweater pieces. Then using a ruler, I cut six inch squares from the pieces. What was left, I cut into six inches by whatever I could get, or three and a half inch squares. And I will be piecing these together to get more of the six inch squares. I ended up with 117 squares. So I decided what finish size I wanted the blanket to be, which was 13 rows with 9 in each row, and I began to lay out all of my pieces. Once everything was laid out and I was happy with the pattern, I put each row into its own stack and labeled them to keep them in order. So I stacked um, piece 1 on top of piece 2 and those on top of piece 3, and then labeled the row number and marked that it was from left to right. With a full bobbin, I began to sew each row together, one at a time, until I was left with only 13 pieces instead of the original 117. I laid the pieces back out and sewed row 1 to row 2, then added row 3 and so on. Once all the pieces were together, I sewed around the entire outer edge of the blanket at one half inch. I grabbed a good pair of scissors, popped in a movie, and started to snip all the seam allowances at about a half inch interval. I also snipped all the way around the outer edge without going over the stitch line. I now have a nice, cozy throw blanket I can use. And if you like this project, don't forget to like, pen, and share, and also subscribe so that you will see all of my upcoming tutorials. And I will see everyone later. Bye!